Many of you have been asking and waiting for this video for quite a while now, and we are really excited to bring it to you today. This is part two of the HX Storm Plus MC6 video, where we learn to use more advanced features. Let's get into it. Hey guys, what's going on? I hope that you're doing great. This is a sequel to our first video showing you the basics of using the HX Stomp with the MC6. If you haven't watched that video yet, I'd highly recommend that you watch that first and then jump back to this video later. Link in the description below. Today we're going to take you through six features that allow you to use the HX Stomp and MC6 combo in creative and powerful ways. In this video, you will learn how to enable two-way communication between the MC6 and HX Stomp. This changes banks on the MC6 when you change presets on the HX Stomp itself. How to recall an HX Storm preset upon entering a particular bank on the MC6. How to use the MC6 switches to emulate FS4 and FS5. FS4 and FS5 can be used to control very useful functions on the HX Stomp that do not have assignable MIDI CC numbers. Next, we'll learn how to recall snapshots on the HX Stomp with the MC6. Then we'll learn how to use the MC6 to quickly select foot switch modes on the HX Stomp, allowing you to instantly get into any mode you want. And lastly, we will learn how to engage the HX Stomp tuner in a super convenient and non-obstructive way. And of course, everything that's shown here today can be done on both the MC3 and the MC8 as well. But for this video, we are going with the MC6 because it's mid-size form factor pairs up really nicely with the HX Stomp and it's nice to have six extra switches to control the Stomp. But if you have any of our other MIDI controllers, everything shown here today can be done in exactly the same way. Alright, let's kick things off with the first tip today, and that's establishing two-way communication between the MC6 and the HX Stomp. Most of you would know that the MC6 is normally used to control the HX Stomp, but the opposite is also possible, and that can have some very useful applications. By default, the HX Stomp sends out a PC message every time you enter a preset using the HX Stomp itself. That applies to both the Stomp's knob as well as its foot switches. When the MC6 receives external PC messages, it changes banks. So as you can see here, when I turn the Stomp's knob to scroll through presets, the banks on the MC6 are changing accordingly too. The same thing happens when I use the Stomp's foot switches to change presets. Let's show you how to set it up. Make sure you have a MIDI cable connected from the HX Stomp's MIDI out to the MC6 MIDI in. Set the HX Stomp MIDI PC transmit setting found under the global MIDI settings to MIDI or USB plus MIDI. Either of these will work. MIDI means that the Stomp will send its PC messages only through its MIDI output. USB plus MIDI means it will send them through both its MIDI output and USB port. Also make sure that MIDI through on the HX Stomp is set to off. This is to prevent an infinite loop that will cause freezing. Once that's done, the MC6 will now respond when you change presets on the HX Stomp, either by turning its knob or pressing its switches. So that means when you select a preset on the HX Stomp, you can have all the corresponding MC6 switches for that preset locked and ready to go. Next, we're going to do something similar but also slightly different. In the latest Morningstar firmware version 3.7.1, we've introduced a new feature called Bank Preset that allows you to send a combination of up to 16 different MIDI messages of your choice upon entering a bank. In this context, this allows you to recall a particular preset on the HX Stomp when you enter a particular bank on the MC6. So on my MC6 right now, I have Bank 1 set up to control preset 1A on the HX Stomp, which is called Stereo Swirl. That means I have all my MC6 switches controlling individual blocks for preset 1A and my expression pedal set up to control my desired parameters for this preset as well. Now, what I want is for the MC6 to recall preset 1A every time I enter this bank. Let me show you how to set it up. It's super easy. As this feature is only available from firmware 3.7.1 onwards, make sure that your controller is updated to the latest firmware. On the Morningstar editor, click on the Bank Settings tab and you will see that it now shows a list of MIDI messages. These are the 16 different messages you can program to be sent upon entering or exiting a bank. For this example, all we want to do is send a PC message to recall an HX Storm preset upon entering this bank. So let's select On Enter and choose a program change message. Since the preset we want to recall is 1A, we just need to go ahead and send PC number 0. You can see the PC numbers required for each preset on the HX Storm just by pressing the top knob and scrolling through on the stomp itself. Then let's hit Save and that's it. Now moving on to our next tip for today, let's see how we can use the MC6 switches to act as FS4 and FS5 on the HX Stomp. Now for those of you who don't know what FS4 and FS5 are, 
They are foot switches 4 and 5 on the HX Stomp and are supposed to be an extension beyond the first 3 foot switches you get on the HX Stomp. You can add them using aux switches, but you can also add them using MIDI, which we are going to do here today. FS4 and FS5 are important because they allow you to control certain functions on the HX Stomp that don't have MIDI assignable CC numbers. These are mainly banking up and banking down, preset scrolling, snapshot scrolling, and allowing you to press page right and page left with your feet, which are really useful functions. To make the MC6 foot switches behave as foot switches 4 and 5 on the HX Stomp, all we have to do is program each switch to send the CC messages that mimic FS4 and FS5. Let's start with FS4. With your MC6 connected to the Morningstar editor, press the switch that you want to program. Let's name it FS4, then just click on the MIDI dictionary tab, select HX Storm from the drop-down list of devices, and look for FS4 among the list of CC messages. Once you've found it, just click the copy button and paste it onto the switch you are programming. Since we want to be able to bank up and down with single presses and also be able to hold down each switch to continuously scroll through banks, we shall program both a press action and a long press scroll action for the switch, both of which will send the same CC message to mimic FS4. Then in the HX Storm Global Settings menu, just go ahead and assign what you want FS4 to do. In this case, that's bank up. Now each time I press switch F, the HX Stomp will bank up, and when I hold it down, the Stomp will continuously bank up. Just repeat the same with switch C as FS5 and assign it to bank down, and you'll be able to effectively scroll through banks on your HX Stomp. Next up, we have something simple but powerful, and that's using the MC6 to recall snapshots on the HX Stomp. As you know, there are three snapshots available for you in each preset on the HX Stomp, and you can see where the snapshot 1, 2, or 3 is activated here in the top right corner. For this example, we'll program switches D, E, and F to recall snapshots 1, 2, and 3 respectively when they are pressed. You can use any action you want, but in this example, we will use a press action to keep it simple. Let's start with switch D and make it recall snapshot 1. We just need to go into the MIDI dictionary, copy the message we need for snapshot 1, paste it to switch D and press save. Now that we're done with switch D, let's go ahead and do the same thing for switches E and F to recall snapshots 2 and 3. Now switches D, E and F recall snapshots 1, 2 and 3 respectively. And these three switches will work for any HX Storm preset that is currently activated. Fantastic! Alright, now moving on to the second last tip for today, and that's using the MC6 to select foot switch modes on the HX Stomp. Typically, the HX Storm foot switch mode is selected by pressing the page left or page right switches with your finger. But this doesn't allow you to change modes hands-free, nor does it allow you to jump to your desired mode immediately. The only way you can achieve that is by using MIDI. So let's say I want to be able to instantly put the HX Stomp into scroll, snapshot, or stomp mode anytime I want. To do this, I shall program a switch to put the HX Stomp into each of these modes by using a press, double tap, and long press respectively. Let's start with an empty switch and name it SCSNST. This stands for scroll, snapshot, and stomp, and it reminds me of the order in which I have these modes set up. Press for scroll, double tap to get into the second mode that is snapshot mode, and finally, long press to get me into stomp mode. Go over to our MIDI dictionary, copy the CC message needed to put the stomp into scroll mode and paste it to our preset. Then let's add a second message for snapshot mode, and lastly, let's add a third message for stomp mode. For snapshot mode, let's select double tap for our action instead of press. And for stomp mode, we'll just select long press. Hit save and we're done. Now I can tap once and then scroll through presets on the stomp. Double tap and trigger snapshots on the stomp. And long press takes me into stomp mode where I can engage and bypass individual blocks. Awesome! Now, for our final tip of the day, we've got a really simple but super useful one, and that's using the MC6 to engage the HX Storm tuner from any bank on the MC6 without sacrificing any of your switches. So for this example, let's make switch A on the MC6 our default tuner switch. So all we have to do is copy the tuner CC message from our MIDI dictionary, paste it to switch A, let's choose a long press action for this so we can save the press action for other purposes, click save, and we're done. Now when you hold down switch A, the HX Storm Tuner gets activated, and when you hold it down again, it gets deactivated. But that's not good enough. Let's take this further and make this available across all banks on the MC6. All we have to do is copy switch A settings and hold down the paste button to paste to all banks. 
Now we can engage our tuner just by holding down switch A, regardless of whichever bank we are in. And that's it for today's video. We really hope that you've enjoyed it. And if you did, we'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button and subscribe. This is where you get the best tutorials on how to make full use of your Morningstar MIDI controllers with your MIDI effects. And also where you get all the latest updates on our products. Till the next video, keep rocking, stay awesome, and we'll see you in the next one.